Sure. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. I'm running a little behind. My sister showed up, so I'm just a little bit behind, but we're going to get into it. I went ahead and got started. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know. So, I got my salmon here, and I've already deboned it. Let me get you guys back so y'all can see me do this action. How y'all doing this afternoon, this evening? All right, so I went ahead, deboned it. Y'all, for the longest time, I did not know, because growing up, I don't remember seeing this stuff being deboned, because it was soft, but I now deboned it because I watched the video, the lady deboned it, and I was like, oh, I've been missing a step. I didn't know. You know, when you grow up, you just see, hey, you see a recipe, you see how your grannies make it, you see how your mom make it. You don't be asking questions. You just it tastes good at the end of the, at the end of the uh, preparation. I still ran across one. I had to get that little bone out there. Now that I know better, I do better. You know? Can I hear amen? When you do better, you do better. So, chopped up some bell peppers and onions, and I'm gonna put those in. Get that all in there. And my choice of seasonings this evening, you guys, is, of course, y'all know I like it spicy. <laughs> y'all know I like it spicy. So I'm going to put in a little bit of slap your mama, because ain't slap your mama ain't never did nobody wrong unless your mama slapped you. <laughs> so I'm going to put that off in there. And my favorite is garlic jalapeno. Hello, hello. I put that off in there because I like it spicy. Now you can use whatever season you like, but that's what I, I like. I'm going to put, even though I got some onions in here, I'm still going to use a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder because this garlic jalapeno has a mixture of the jalapeno more so than it does the onion, the garlic powder. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of that in there. I went ahead, I got my, my uh, cracker crumbs already crunched up and crushed. And I'm just gonna pour those in. This is what keeps it bonded together. Get it all mixed in. Hello, Hello. I know, right? Gotta have that, gotta have that. Yes, you gotta have that onion powder off in it. Yes, and you gotta make sure you have enough to bond it so it'll stay together. So I'm gonna use the rest of my crackers here. Get that all up in there because I want it to stay together. I don't want it to be floating around in my skillet. <laughs> I want it to make it yes. So that it bonds together and makes a good patty. You made a good meal tonight. That sounded so delicious. I was reading the comments before I came on. Oh, so I'm getting that all incorporated. I'm going to step away for a minute, you guys. Turn it, turn that down. Pick up my. My drink. Hello. It's just a regular cracker, some unsalted crackers. I'm sure they did, because that was some good eating. I don't use any lemon in it. I don't. Get that all mixed up together. I'm gonna start making these patties. Put my grease, back, I mean my oil back on the eye so it can get hot. What does the lemon do? Like cut the fish taste? Is that why you put it in there? I can see why you would put it in there, like the fishy taste to take that away. Is that why you put the lemon? 
Just a drip of lemon juice. I got some. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I got some lemon juice. Yeah, does it have to be fresh juice or can it be? I got either one. I got lemon and I got uh some the you know the concentrated lemon juice. Does it matter it has to be fresh lemon juice or can it be the concentrated? Yes, on the fresh or the on um, just lemon juice, period. Yes, getting it all worked in. I got my eyeball game going. Y'all see how they measure it, but I'm telling you it'll come out right because I measure with my eyes. Okay, I got some. I'm going to put a little drip off in there. I'm going to put a little drip, drip in there. Yes, I keep it on standby, lemon juice. So now I'm just really incorporating that inside all of my ingredients that I have. And I'm going to get this lemon juice. And see what it do, Pam. I'm going to see what it do. Hold on. Let me get it. Let me get it. I got some. I got some. All right. So we're going to put just a drip. Is it kind of like this? Like a little drizzle? Okay. I put a little drizzle off in there. All right. All right, I'm gonna get that mixed up. Yes. You know what? I'm gonna put me a little bit more of my garlic jalapeno seasoning in it. I'm telling y'all, I, I I like stuff a little with a little kick with it. And I like the fact that it doesn't have any salt in it. So that, that works for me. And I'm going to check and make sure my oil is good. Because I don't want them to cook too fast. Like I want them to be real golden, pretty brown. Alright, All right, let's get them going. Let's get them going. get them started and this should be your consistency where they make a good little old patty a good old croquette a good old croquette I gotta form it all nice and pretty Had some um, fish puppies because I was supposed to make them with catfish and I forgot to make them. So I know I ain't never had them with this, but I was like, you know what? I don't see it's like a fish anyway. I mean, so I'm gonna cook. I got three hush puppies. I'm gonna cook them. Hopefully, my sister in law will see this. If not, she'll see it on the replay. These for Ruthie. <laughs> Nobody likes a, a burnt. I don't. Salmon croquette. I don't like it. Cook them slow and good. one more in and then I'm going to turn those two, that first one at least that I just put in. Yep. That's the thing about this, don't take a whole lot to cook them. Kind of quick and simple to make once you get your seasonings in there. Yep. Alright you guys, wash your hands. Indeed. Okay. Can you guys see in the skillet? Yeah. Thank you. Y'all 
y'all see that pretty color can y'all see that i think i got y'all there we go so y'all can see y'all see that pretty color that's what you that's what i'm going for yes cook it just nice and slow so it gets cooked all up in there yes Y'all, I had to make me a tequila sunrise. It's been that kind of day. I know it ain't Friday, but I had to make me a nice little cocktail while I was getting everything together today. Yep. Had to give me a drink. <laughs> and I went to the dentist. I went to the ortho, and they got me wearing these bands. These bands ain't going to make me dance, I'm telling you. <laughs> Woo! The lady was like, you got to keep them on. The only time you can take them off is when you're eating, when you got to sleep in them. I was like, Jesus. And I remember it the first time I had braces, but I was younger, so I don't think it really registered then. <laughs> but it's registered now. <laughs> it is registered now. And I bet you this go around, I will not be hard-headed, and I will wear my retainer faithfully. I will wear it faithfully. Yes, they, these ain't making me dance, though. These are not making me dance. Not at all. No, not at all. Gotta be, you know, so gentle with them. Yes. I love, see, I'm all about appearances. When I when it don't look right, I'm telling you guys. I, so that's why I make sure I come on. Before I come on, I make sure I prep so that way when y'all come on, you know, everything. Because this is live. I don't get to, do, you know, erase it and come back. You know, I can chop it up later and replay it again. But ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just going to play it live. Y'all catch it. If I make a mistake, say the wrong words. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> I just, you know, get in and do it. I usually would make like mac and cheese with this. like a, But today, I'm just going to have like a nice salad with it today. I didn't, I didn't want to go too extreme today, but I would have already had prepped it before you guys came on. So, but I, I wasn't feeling the mac and cheese today. I'm trying to remember what my mom used to make with this. Oh, I know exactly what my mother used to make with this. She used to make salmon croquettes, home fries with onions in it, and biscuits with syrup. I remember that now. Man, it was good was very good. I remember, just my memory was like, wait a minute, yes. I wouldn't want to do some potatoes, but look, y'all see me working out at the gym, that would be just a waste, you know, I try to watch these carbs. <laughs> I do. It's hard, but hey, it's worth it. It's, it's paying off. It is definitely paying off. My sister came in here. She was like, oh, I seen you at the gym on your video with your hip showing all off. <laughs> well, that's what I'm working out for. You know, tone up, trim up, you know. That's what I'm working out for. To get, get it together, keep it together. I'm, about, I'm pushing 50, you know. Yeah. I'm pushing 50. It turned over. Oh, y'all, they look so pretty. So so pretty. Let me get y'all in this in here so y'all can see. Get y'all turned down. There y'all go. Yes, I'm getting better with this camera. Let me get that turned over. Yes, my mama used to make it with some good old. Now that this is cooking, I could go for some smothered fries, some home cooked fries. I really could. <laughs> hey, come on in the room. My good, good girlfriend, come on in the room. Good to see you on here. Y'all, I'm going to be getting my uh, Be Fit For You gear coming soon. Yes. Miss Delicia gonna got me right all the way together. She gonna, I got an apron that's coming. I got some shirts. 
So y'all about to see me boss up and have all my gear on, baby. I'm gonna be too too much for y'all. Well, not too much for y'all, but probably for myself. <laughs> yeah, probably too much for myself. Probably too much for myself. I think I got enough to make two more patties. Two more. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Tangie, I'm having. <laughs> I'm having uh another another tequila sunrise. <laughs> it's that kind of day today. <laughs> I was driving home and look. When I'm going to work, I see this little detour sign on this road. I don't know what made me not, I, I wasn't thinking today. So it detoured one way going in. When I got off the highway, I was like, yeah, I can take a shortcut. That shortcut led me right into the back of the front, or the back of the detour sign. I had to go all the way back out around and hit I-35. I was so hot. I was like, Jesus, and I got alive today. So I was supposed to do this at six, but uh, what had happened was with all them detours and going back on the highway, it's 6.30. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> it is what it is, but I'm glad y'all came on to support me. I'm so glad. I am so happy about it. Hey, YouTube. Y'all welcome to my Feel Good channel. I ain't gonna leave y'all out. I ain't gonna leave y'all out. Not gonna do it. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all follow, like, do all of the above. Y'all, this smells so good in here. So delicious. My sister here, she's going somewhere, but I, I know she'll eat some when she get back. I know she will. I actually got a guest. <laughs> a guest, even though she's just coming in and do a little little thing to go to her event tonight, but I'm glad she's here. She's getting ready to go. She's going to go see TLC. <clears throat> Yo, whoo. Ooh, them smell good. Promise y'all. Anybody else had him a, a, a meltdown, a feel good drink for the day, for the one time, for the one time? I am too. <laughs> oh, okay. No, you can't have, you can't, no, you can't be doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Girl, it smell good too. It does. One more time. For the one time, get a little more, get a little more tan on it. <laughs> and they're gonna be ready those. The first two I had in there. And then I put some more. These last two in there. And honey, we'll be done. Yes. What do y'all eat on y'all salmon croquettes? Okay, yes. That's a good drink right there. Some rum. Yes, yes, that was my that's my brand right there too. I ha, I still have I had a retirement party in January. I still have liquor from the party. <laughs> Cause I don't really drink. That's I just, you know, every now and then it'd be one of them days I can have me a this this gonna be it. I'm like one of them persons go to the club, I'm a two drink minimum. I'm probably gonna have one in the water because I that's my chase of water. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a cheap date. <laughs> Give me a good, powerful punch drink. Yeah, that's me. One, one and done. One and I'm good to go. I don't need a whole lot. I just need to, you know, that's it for me. All right, we got two coming out. But what do y'all eat on y'all salmon? Because y'all about to see me what I eat on mine. Okay. Crab rice and corn. Oh, that sounds good. But I can't have corn, but it does sound good. That does sound delicious. All right, all right. What do I want to put it on? I should have had this out, but I wasn't thinking. 
I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking. Y'all, anytime I cook some in grease, yes, I put it on some paper towels. I sure do, because I got to look at there. Look at there. Okay, tartar sauce. Okay. One more time for this to flip these. Get them an extra tan. <laughs> I got to give them a little extra tan. Y'all know how I am about color. That's why I be using paprika and uh, making sure that my my meat. I didn't use it in this because it, you know when it cook, it's already gonna have a nice good color to it. So, but uh, let me. I need to put my hush puppies in here before I miss them out again. And she'll be saying, "You didn't cook them again." <laughs> I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them hush puppies in there right now. Definitely am. About to get them in there right now. I'm going to take those out. And they go in the same grease. Sure are. Sure are. And these have gotten their tan, honey. They done got their tan. They, they getting straight off the beach, tanned and all. Okay. Mm-hmm. They getting right on off the beach, tanned and all. <laughs> Look at there, y'all. Look uh, there. Come close and just smell. Look at that scratch and sniff. <laughs> what drink get to you? Y'all, it smells so good. I'm woo, so good. Got my little hash browns in here. I mean my hush puppies. Yes, put them on around in there. This one gonna be small, this little patty right here, cause I, it's all right. You can be like a little snack. <laughs> you can be a little snack. A hush puppy, I mean, uh, I keep wanting to say hush, uh, hush puppies, I'm on it. It'd be a hush puppy ball, like a salmon ball. I think I seen something a lady with, or somebody was making like uh, salmon croquette balls. Like they deep fried them. It sure look good. So, hmm. Maybe that's, I'll try that one day. All right, you guys. Let me get this out the way. Turn that one over. All right. Then I'm going to, uh, Make me cut up me some uh, tomatoes for my salad. Mash that a little bit. Mash that a little bit. Hush puppies. I mean, yes. Hush puppies with salmon. Okay, come through. I'm going to change it up. Making you hungry. What drink get to you, Amy? You keep you said it get to you. Is it the uh, tequila sunrise get to you? I need to know what drink you're saying get to you. All right, guys. I gotta. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna bring y'all down here with me so y'all can see me. I'm just gonna cut up my um stuff that's gonna go in my salad. I like red onions. I got me a good old avocado. Rinse off my tomato. Y'all, I had to buy me a um, another water bottle. My other one I had, all them years, I dropped it last week and it cracked. I finished my water today. But I like this one. Look, don't go on Amazon. I was telling y'all, Amazon is the <laughs> and you buy stuff. But I really needed this though. I love it, love, love it. I needed that for my water. I drink it filtered out, out here at home and then good to go. So I got my lettuce. I rinsed off my lettuce. See y'all, I be prepping before I come out here. I try. 
you know, so y'all won't have to, you know, hang out that long. Give me a good old knife. <clears throat> something green with your meal but when we would eat this we didn't have I don't remember having nothing green because it was some smothered potatoes and them biscuits <laughs> I guess that was the exception to the rule honey exception to the rule to my daddy country rule and my mama country rule well most of the time we had eat some green some green beans something that was green a salad look y'all I was talking to my mom the other day and uh, we were talking about salad dressing. She had bought a salad, right? And she said that they didn't give her, she liked Thousand Island dressing. And they didn't give her enough. And she didn't have any at home. This was her leftovers from her lunch. She didn't have enough. And so we were talking about different salad dressings. And I said, Mama, I remember when you used to make salad with a uh, Miracle Whip. <laughs> See how God blessed you and brought you everybody a long way. Now you got that, you got the uh, Thousand Island. Now you have moved on up. You forgot where God brought you from that Miracle Whip salad dressing. <laughs> we do and God bless us to move up. Yeah, my mama made a good old salad girl with some uh, miracle whip. Tell me what tell me wasn't good, baby. Yes it was. With miracle whip with a little salt and pepper. <laughs> baby, we didn't have no ranch growing up. We didn't have and then when my mom did start buying salad dressing, she bought the kind that she liked. <laughs> of course. <laughs> We still did not have thousand island. I mean, we still didn't have ranch in the house. Mama said she gonna get some salad dressing. It's gonna be the kind that she like. I ain't mad at her. I'm not mad at her, but I don't like thousand island dressing to this day, though. <laughs> I do not. I'm gonna put my salt and pepper on here. And this is sea salt, you guys. I always use sea salt. Yes, with Miracle Whip. I promise you, we, I ain't know what it was to grow up with no ranch dressing or Thousand Island or Italian dressing. My mama used to use Miracle Whip and then she would uh, put a little salt and pepper on that. That was the best salad. All right, y'all got my, my last ones. Oh, and it's breaking. No, 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 don't break. And get my hush puppies out of here. Ta-da! Voila! Got to get my picture in there. Hey! <laughs> and I got my little, it's still cooking on my little hush puppy. All right. Okay, so let me finish my salad. It ain't going to take me that long. And then we're going to break bread. Say grace, break bread. How many of y'all like avocados? I love, love avocados. I do, I do. This wasn't something growing up either that we had. I don't know. They just growing up, traveling, trying new things, seeing new things, getting, you know, different dishes. Y'all gotta take these bands off because, honey, they got your girl talking all kind of ways. The people at work don't even be understanding what I'm saying. They don't understand me most of the time because I talk fast, they say. They don't tell me I can look by the, you know, the look on their face. I'm talking too fast. So sorry. Okay, I'm gonna do, I like avocado, so I'm gonna have this whole avocado in my salad, cause that's my business. <laughs> I sure am. It's good omega three, it's good. Yep. I'm 
have all that avocado in there today. Because that's what I want. That's what I want. And then I am going to run. Clean up a little space right here. Let me check my, my little hush puppies. They still hanging on. They about to be done too. I done turned it down, you guys. They listen to. <laughs> I know. Thank you. I mean, I, I know I got, a, I got a Texas draw. I got country in me. But I, look, I ain't changing. I'm not going to be proper. I'm proper as it's going to get. So I'm, I'm proper as it's going to get as I'm going to get. So I'm going to cut up a couple of onions for my salad. So y'all say y'all eat corn and crab on there. Man, I bet that's good. We don't, we just like crab here. You either go, if you get it fresh, you gotta be like at the coast. Like in, um, down at Galveston or, cause if you get it in the store, it's usually gonna be in a, like a container. So it don't really be that good. I mean, it, it is what it is. Or you either gonna have to buy crab and debone it and do it yourself. So, but that does sound good. Taking out my hush puppies, y'all. For my sister-in-law, Ruthie. Okay, let me get my red onion cut up. Just need a little bit. What all are y'all eating y'all salad? Yeah, y'all eat a salad. What all we gotta have? I know somebody gonna say egg. <laughs> I usually do. I usually do, but today I was like, I had the traffic thing. Oh. That detour, Lord. But you know what? That gave me a message, though. And the message was, every time we plan to do something, God always see fit for us to, it, you know, to go a different way. Who knows what was at the end of that road? Maybe it was, you know, even though it was already set up to be detoured. But sometimes, you know, we get upset and wonder why. Why can't I go this way? Why can't I do it this way? Sometimes we just need a detour. So today I had my detour and I wasn't happy about it, but maybe it was a reason for it. Who knows? So y'all got my salad made. Baby, she made a whole uh, <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, so it's about the same thing. You got the... Uh, the claw meat. That's how they. That's how it is here at HEB. At HEB, our grocery store. It's a little container that has the claw meat in it. That's about the same thing then. Yeah, you, you can't really get it like fresh, fresh here unless you, like I said, if you're down at the coast. <clears throat> and I remember I, some years ago, I went to the coast and I came back with a whole cooler full of uh, goodies, honey. Yes. I had all kind of uh, fish. We're going to get it plated so we can aid it. It is uh, about four hours. So, you know, I'm not going like <laughs> no time soon. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, it's about four hours. It is about four hours. Okay. So, let's get it plated so we can aid it. Move y'all guys down here. Got my plate of salmon with my hush puppies. Look at there. Look at there. I know. Too far. Too far. I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to take this one. Because I'm greedy like that. But salmon is so light though. I mean salmon croquettes, it's not a lot. It's filling, but it ain't, you know. And y'all, I like ketchup on mine. I, I just do. I just do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get this over to the table. And I'm going to get y'all over here with me. Give me one moment. Give me one moment. Yes. Get the lights on because we're going to be eating. 
And I need to get my ranch dressing. And I need to get some ketchup. See, I'll be eating the, I'll be eating the salmon croquet like it's like it's um uh, kind of reminded me growing up of uh, fish sticks. That's why I ate with ketchup. Because it reminded me like I was eating uh fish sticks. So that's why I eat it, you guys, with ketchup. So I know y'all probably saying ketchup. Yes, yes, yes. You know, the child, you just, you know, you eat. <laughs> you eat things kind of weird. <laughs> you eat kind of weird. And plus, growing up, my dad was like, uh, you got to eat what your mama cooked. You're not going to make no separate meal. This wasn't been prepared. So you just get to the point where you learn how to make it do what it do. You, you adapted to what was on the table. That or you just went hungry because it wasn't no, like nowadays, even when I had my kids, I would, I wouldn't do, I didn't do them the way I was raised. I didn't like, you know, make them eat, you know, if they didn't want it. I would make them, I would tell them like, try to get them to try it, you know, but um, I wouldn't force it on them. Like, hey, you better eat this or you're going to go to bed hungry. But my dad, huh? <laughs> you going to go to bed hungry because he wasn't playing. You like your mama cooks, work hard, and making this meal, and you think you're not gonna eat it? Hmm. You gonna go? You just gonna starve then? I'm over here struggling. Ah, struggling with the bands. The bands ain't making the dance. Jesus Christ. Woo, Lord. I don't go back to the dentist. I don't go back to the ortho until November. I don't know how I'm gonna make it. Oh Lord, they gotta put a spacer in and all that. The lady was like, "Do you want to come uh, before Thanksgiving uh, to get the spacer in?" And I'm like, "Lady, I'm trying to eat Thanksgiving meal." <laughs> Ooh, so I'm gonna go like on the 15th, so I'll be you know adjusted by the time it's Thanksgiving. I want to eat. I don't know what she was thinking. I gotta get everything, you know, set up, you guys. I know I'm just talking away. So, y'all know I be eating this on my salads. I love, love, love this. Oh, <laughs> she hurt. Is she hurting now that she got them? Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. They don't be, they be feeling funny. I'm getting used to it. I had them, what day did I go? Monday. So I, I'm getting used to them. I am getting used to them. You guys can't see me. Like, get down, get down. I'm like at an angle. Let me back y'all up so y'all can see. I'm trying to put it where I can still see y'all comments. There we go. There we go. I know. Because it, make it makes your mouth tender. Your everything. Yes. All right, you guys. So we gonna before we play before I played it. Well, I already played it. Now I'm about to eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna say a nice little prayer because that's what I do. You gotta pray for your food because you'll never know. All right, you guys. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for those who are in the room, for those who are coming in on the replay. I thank you, Heavenly Father, just for today, just for this time, this moment, Lord. I ask that you let this food serve as nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, y'all. <laughs> oh, so I got my ketchup. Because I'm telling you, growing up was like, it reminded me of fish sticks. So that's how I learned how to eat it. And I haven't changed all these years. See? I put it on there where it stayed together. Some people put an egg in it. I don't put an egg in mine. I don't, I don't know about that. I mean, it probably tastes good, but. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm! Yeah. I'm going to start using that lemon. That make it taste good. You use eggs? Mmm. I don't use eggs. Now that lemon, 
that was good. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep doing that. It does seem like it take away a little bit of that fishy taste in a good way. I like that. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Get into the salad. Mm, mm, mm. Got my avocado. I gotta get some avocado. Mm, mm, mm. So good, y'all. Let me give me a good old bite of the salad again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love salad. This is healthier than having them them home fries. <laughs> I could have had some though. If I had them, had them here, I probably would have made them. But this is actually a good combination, though. It really is. Cause I want all my hard work at the gym to be in vain. Yeah, I'm still at the salad. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mmm. She left her shirt. She was going to this event. She left her shirt. She went home to go get it. And she lived out, well, she lived about 45 minutes away. So I hope she make it back and I hope she makes it safe. I'm praying. Oh. Okay, you guys. I'm going to get out of here because I know y'all got other stuff to do. But I want to thank y'all. Thank y'all again for coming on. Watch me make how watch me how I make my salmon croquettes. I want to thank Pam for telling me about that little tidbit of the lemon juice. Made a difference. I can taste it. I can tell the difference, the taste in it. Um, I want you guys, if you find it in your spirit, go ahead and share my uh, live. Go ahead and tell somebody about it, about this Be Fit For You. Because I'm out here in these Be Fit For You streets doing it and doing it well. I'm encouraged, I'm motivated, I'm determined, and Rome wasn't built in the night. God, didn't make, he took him seven days. I ain't God, but if he took God seven days, it may take me 700 days <laughs> to get it going the way I want it. But I'm determined, and I'm going to keep going at this. But I want to thank all y'all who have supported me. I love, love, love y'all for that. Also, make sure if you're on the um, Be Fit For You, Let's Cook, Make sure you go over to Be Fit For You. Go ahead and like and follow the page. Some of y'all in the group, but not over on the page. Let's do that. Let's do our work, people. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> also, I'm on YouTube. Go over to YouTube. It doesn't cost you anything, <laughs> anything to subscribe. It's under Be Fit For You. I have a nice little banner. It took me a whole minute to make it, so it looks good. My daughter was even impressed by it. I'm learning. It's self-talk, but it's okay. Also, I'm on TikTok. Hey, this be fit for you as well. I'm getting to all the platforms. I'm trying to get out there. Yeah, 700 days, probably, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm getting out there doing it. It's just a little bit at a time as I learn everything step by step. But you guys, I can... I, uh, just want to thank y'all for the continued support. So go out on YouTube, Be Fit For You. I'm on TikTok for Be Fit For You. And over here on Facebook, of course, Be Fit For You. And before I go, Be Fit For You spiritually. Be Fit For You emotionally. Be Fit For You physically. And Be Fit For You definitely financially. I love you guys. Talk to y'all later. Love y'all.